seeing something done wonderfully well is exciting and that goes for any any musical performance. But when it's somebody just doing it with their own body, there's no hardware involved, you know, that, that can be that can be really unlike any other experience, I think. Great singing is thrilling. It's just a physical fact of life, I think, that something about it you know, says, well... Writing for voices differs in, in their various contexts. So writing an opera, for example, each vocal line has to express a character and dif differentiate that character from the other characters. So you might have two voice types the same, but one is the goody and one or whatever. And so you need to, you know, that their music has to differentiate them dramatically. Um, on the other hand, writing, say, the, uh, the setting of the Kinsella Baudelaire song that I wrote for Halcyon, I chose to blend as far as I could the voices and the instruments so that while there are five different colours there, um, they were very much... It was very fluid, funnily enough. Um, fluid texture. So I was trying very hard not to make any one or other of those lines stand out at any one point. So it was like very subtle changes of colour, reflection, glints, whatever, but not, um, not the dramatic sort of um, individuation that you might get in another sort of chamber music. The Goodison Quartet was commissioned by Sir Nicholas and Lady Goodison, a couple of London philanthropists, who commissioned four pieces, of which mine was the first, and they were all string quartets with a vocal component. Um, and I chose to write for Catherine Wynne Rogers, whom I'd heard not long before and whose voice I loved and she's a great musician. So they, she and the Doric Quartet gave the first performances at w Wigmore Hall. Um, and Catherine is... She sings Erde, for example, so she's a tifa soprano, a, a deep soprano, um, which is a bizarre kind of... <laughs> Nomenclature, but that's what Wagner called that voice. So it, that was a, for a nice challenge to write for. Um, and of course, it's one that sits very comfortably with your compass. But then, because you're, both, you're very different kinds of singers or musicians, um, the, the performances are both very different, and that's great. As I say, it's very nice to know that a piece can stand a different interpretation from the one that might have been in my mind at first, um, or at least the first one isn't necessarily the definitive one. Um, it was an opportunity for me to set poetry that I love, obviously. Um, Seamus Heaney, Gwen Harwood and Gerard Manley Hopkins. Um, three quite different poets, all sonnets as it happens, um, but all offering all sorts of opportunities for the voice to soar and fly over a wonderfully rich kind of texture that the string quartet could and did, I hope, produce. 